Okay, so in today's episode, I'm going to show you how to install Cura onto the Windows desktop. It's pretty straightforward, and I'm going to go ahead and provide the links for you in the description below. So what you'll do is open up your Google Chrome or any of your Internet Explorer. What you're going to want to do is look up Cura here in Google. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to go looking for the Cura software over in Google. So the first link, it's going to have Ultimaker Cura. Let's go ahead and tick that one. Let's click on there. And give it a couple of seconds to load. From there, we're basically just going to download it from right here. And just depending on if you have Mac or Windows or Linux, you just pick the, the necessary file. So from there, I'm going to go ahead and download it. This is uh, Oatsmaker Cura 5.4, by the way, more updated version. And so from here, we're just going to install the file. So now I got it over here. Going to just wait a little couple of minutes until this installs. And I'll go ahead and uh, install it onto the desktop. Okay, so as soon as the file finishes downloading, go ahead and click on it to begin the installation on your desktop. I might need to open it up again in the folders. So we're going to go to downloads, click right here, double click on it. From there, we're just going to wait for the file. Okay. Windows may ask, you know. If you want to install it anyway, go ahead and click OK. We're going to wait out the security message. Go ahead and allow it. And from here, you're going to start the installation. It's pretty straightforward. Just going to click Next. Go ahead and go through it. It's going to pick a destination folder. I'm going to set it in the Program Files folder. Go ahead and click Next. And from there, it's just in installing. Give it a couple of minutes, and we'll see where we're at after this. Done installing it. Let's go ahead and just finish it off and let the new software run. All right, and here we are. Now we're looking at Cura 5.4 installed on the Windows desktop. If you have any more questions or comments, please fill them in below. And I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.